Hello, I'm Carolyn Dugas, purveyor of fine pines, and today I'm going to be sharing some identification tips for my favorite pine trees, the eastern white pine and the Virginia pine. They have an herbaceous bouquet with notes of resin and citrus. Delicious! Besides these helpful ID tips, I'm also going to share some of my favorite pine facts with the help of Pierre, my pet porcupine. So stick around and we'll learn how to identify some pine. Before we start heading into the pines, I wanted to share some exciting news with y'all. I've started up a Patreon for Fresh and Forage where you can get exclusive videos and recipes each month. Go take a look and join me if you can. I'll link to it in the description below. So why should you eat pine needles? Many people are surprised to learn that pine needles are not just edible, but actually have a desirable flavor. Like most plants, the flavor changes throughout the seasons, starting with the light and citrusy flavor of the young spring growth and developing into the more resinous flavor of the winter needles. Once you've identified an edible pine in your area, be sure to sample the needles throughout the seasons to see how the flavor shifts. I really like spring needles in bright, bubbly fermented drinks, whereas in the deep, dark winter time, I like to infuse the needles into things like uh, oils or even cookies. P.S. Be sure to check out my recipe for pine needle cookies if you haven't already at freshandforage.com. Pines are also a sustainable food source. Up here in New England, there are more pines than you can shake a stick at, and you don't even need a lot of needles to enjoy their taste. My favorite harvesting tip is to go into the woods after a snow, ice, even windstorm, and pick up some fallen branches. Storms are nature's pruning. If you're harvesting fallen pine branches, just make sure that the needles are still nice and green and that they have a pleasant flavor. Before we get into the nitty gritty details of ID, Pierre wanted to remind you that the most important guideline before consuming a new species is to verify its identity with at least three reputable sources, preferably books. So uh, grab your regional guidebooks and let's get learning. Now, when you're looking for edible pines, make sure to keep your eyes open and watch out for the yew tree, Texas species, which are actually quite toxic. To the untrained eye, they may look a little like a shrubby pine. They have flat needles and they're frequently used in ornamental landscaping. But every once in a while, they'll escape into the woods. If you see something that looks like a weird small shrubby pine next to your dentist's office, it might be a you. One of the most important steps in foraging is to learn the poisonous plants. So make sure to familiarize yourself with the you if you are new to foraging for pine needles. Now, getting back to the pines, there are about 100 species worldwide and about 50 that are native or naturalized to the United States. Most of them are edible, but you need to ID down to the species level to confirm edibility. Today, we'll be focusing on the eastern white pine, Pinus strobus, and the Virginia pine, Pinus virginiana, which are two of my favorites. They are both quite tasty and abundant. Now, when you're identifying a pine, the first step is to take a peek at those needles. Count up how many are in a bundle and measure how long they are. If you take a peek at where the pine needles join the branch, you'll see that at the base there's kind of like a papery sheath that's covering them, so that'll tell you how many are in a bundle. Most pines have bundles of either two, three, or five needles, although there are some exceptions. Up here in New England, as far as I know, there's only one pine with five needle bundles, the eastern white pine. A nice little memory trick that I learned is that white pines have five needles and there are five letters in white, one for each needle. These needles are pretty long for a pine, clocking in at between two and a half to five and a half inches, and their mature cones are four to eight inches long, which is another key ID point. As for the Virginia pines, they have two flat, twisty needles. They kind of look like they're in pain, and the needles are pretty short, about one and a half to three inches long. If you spread them out, they will look like a V, which is a nice way to remember that Virginia pines have two needles. Although Pierre would like to add that not every two-needled pine is a Virginia pine. 
Now, if it's the right season, be sure to take a peek at the mature pine cones, which are one and a half to two and a half inches long. Virginia pines have the tastiest pine needles. In my opinion, they're really flavorful and light and tend to be more citrusy than resinous. If you live in an area where they grow, you should totally get to know them. Now that we've covered some of the essential ID points, Pierre would like to share his top favorite pine facts, and he's got a lot of them. We really had to pare down the list. Number one, did you know that the number of whorls of branches, which are basically like the levels of branches on a pine tree, roughly correlate with the age of the tree? Pine trees tend to produce one set of branch whorls each year. Number two, did you know that evergreens are not for evergreens? While it might seem like those needles last basically forever, pines systematically shed their old leaves every few years. The white pine specifically will drop its two or three year old yellowy needles in the autumn. It is very dramatic. The first time I noticed this, I thought all of the pines were dying at once. I was very distressed. And number three, last but not least, did you know that the male pine cones of the white pine look like miniature pineapples? They usually grow on the lower branches, so in spring, you can snip off one or two and float them in your drink. Just make sure to leave plenty for reproductive purposes. Thanks for tuning in, and let me know in the comments what your favorite pine facts are. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more flavorful foraging content. Happy foraging! Oh.